Welcome, one and all, to Steve's Halloween Corner. Who's going to clean this shit up? <laughs> uh, so here I am. Uh, I've, uh, I've actually sort of tried desperately during the better part of this afternoon to embark on my very first vlog. I've wanted to try to do this. Um, for a little while now, and um, I'll say that, you know, there were uh, a couple people who were really instrumental in helping me get over the, you know, the, the, the insecurity of, of, do I really want to do that? Do I want to put my face on the internet? And who wants to listen to what I have to say anyway? Uh, but, yeah, absolutely. Um, um, over time, uh, I've seen lots of clips um, from my from my wife's friends, uh, and and now many of them are my friends uh, on my channel. Um, Lou Flamingo. There's a curse upon me. I change into a wolf. And um, Ninja Jesse one. <coughs> yeah, uh, I just kind of figured like I want to try to give it a go. And I don't think I'll be one of those people who do an everyday thing, but uh, it might be ambitious enough for me to shoot for once a week, maybe. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how well it goes over. The, the thing that really got my, you know, the bee into my bonnet here uh, today was I wanted to respond to uh, the Blue Flamingo's um, Halloween tag. I can't, I can't pass this one up because, uh, let's face it, <laughs> Let's face. I, I'm the I'm the Halloween guy, you know. Okay, I'm not the Halloween guy. There were, there are probably going to be people who would argue with me on, on that point, but I'm one of the Halloween guys, uh, witnessed by the fact that that my backdrop is um, containing my my horror DVD collection, over 800 discs. Uh, yeah, I'm the man. Uh, so, or one of the men, one of the men. Okay, so no. I'm not into competition. I, I'm just not. So, question one. Get to it, Steve. What is the best Halloween costume you've ever worn? Okay, well, um, I have to kind of break this down as saying, well, you know, I mean, there have been Halloween costumes that have had a lot of fun wearing. When I was a kid, uh, from a completely minimalist a standpoint, I would take one of those brown makeup crayon things and mark werewolf fur all over my legs and my arms, and then I had a werewolf mask and torn up jeans, and I went around all night as the wolf mask. I had a blast, but it wasn't terribly glamorous, and uh, I don't have any pictures of that, that occasion, but I'm sure that I probably didn't come off as being quite as effective as someone like Lon Chaney Jr. or something like that. Uh, <clears throat> but no, the, the Halloween costume that I probably enjoyed uh, the most was at a Halloween um, party back in 1982, uh, where, thanks to the help of my girlfriend, she did the sewing. I can't take all the credit, um, but I did the design and uh, all that kind of stuff. I did this, uh, this trip as the... David Bowie, Mime Clown, from the song Ashes to Ashes. And that's not a very good picture of the shine, but I can always insert one somewhere else in this foolishness later. <sighs> Question number two. Get on with it. It's going to be an epic. Um, what was the worst slash grossest trick or treat candy you've ever gotten? Um, well, I heard, you know, Blue Flamingo's assertion earlier that, you know, he once um, received popcorn balls with cat hair in them, and I can't compete with that, all right? He's going to have to, you know, get get the gold medal for that. Uh, I'll have to go with um, the, the, the distinction of worst. I've always hated gum. I just have. It's just me. I'm weird, but you, you 
If you don't know that already, you're going to find out. Uh, and um, I don't like it. And I think it's a cheat to get gum for a trick or treat outing. I think it's a cheat because, you know, I'll chew it and my stomach thinks candy is coming down, you know? And it, it, it's not. It's gum. And, and you don't want to swallow it. That's a whole other thing. But, uh, yeah, so gum is the worst. Question three. Uh, what is your favorite scary slash horror film? Now, um, anybody who's read my notes on my channel knows that um, I've asserted my opinion. Uh, the two best horror films ever made, my opinion. That's different from favorite. Not to say that I don't like these. Of course, I love them. I love a lot of them. But, uh, but my favorite terms of the one I enjoy watching and uh, think that it has a lot of wonderful serious intent uh, is the uh, 1963 version, Robert Wise directing uh, The Hunting. And uh, it will scare the holy stuffing out of you and you don't see a thing. They don't show you anything. It's all implied. It's great. And I love that. It's, it's like masterful filmmaking. It's like black and white. It's not that stupid Spielberg remake. Don't get me going on that. Don't want to do that. Okay, number four. What is your favorite monster, i.e. vampire, mummy, zombie, witch, etc.? Okay, well, um, I'm a huge Boris Karloff fan. Huge ever since I was a kid. And um, my favorite monster is Frankenstein, as portrayed by Boris Karloff. In the three films he did as the creature. Um, a little, a funny little story is that the first time I saw those films, I was five or six years old, and I got the little model kits where they had all the monsters, the Wolfman model and the Dracula model and the Frankenstein model and put them together and I have them on the desk in my bedroom and uh, they were my friends. I love this thing. And um, when I came to be able to see the films, I kind of felt the same way about them. You know? I think just recently, I can't attribute the quote, I don't know who said it, but I really agreed with it. Uh, somebody said something along the lines of, uh, Monsters are just people with really bad problems. And I love the Frankenstein monster as portrayed by Karloff because he brought so much sympathy to it. And uh, I'm big on sympathetic monsters. Um, Lon Chaney's The Wolfman was very sympathetic. Uh, you really felt for that guy. So, but I won't go on about The Wolfman. Won't... Uh, won't go on about the Wolfman here, Adrian, because uh, <laughs> he's listening and he's very touchy about what's said about him. Number five. Who do you want to watch for the Great Pumpkin with? Who do you want to watch for the Great Pumpkin with? Out there in the pumpkin patch with the stars shining above and, um, you know, I'll a few from Linus and bring my blanket out there. Um, I stopped sucking my thumb a long time ago. Um, I, I would like to sit in the pumpkin patch waiting for the great pumpkin with my sweetie Patricia slash Nuckit and my four grandsons. That would be cool. Nice little wish. Okay. Did I get through that? Did I really?